Now, barely 24 hours after the announcement of Senator Keshiv Shatima by the APC's presidential candidate, Balatinobu has his running mate in the 2023 general elections. The Christian Association of Nigeria, Kaduna State Chapter, has rejected such a move. The body says that such a decision has no respect for the unity, peace and progress of the country and that it prioritizes selfishness, greed and personal unhealthy interest over the good of the nation. Plus TV correspondent Abela Darufa found in this report as presented from our studios. Months after the primary elections that announced party flag bearers, the choice of running mate has been a tug of war as it has generated controversies from religious and regional bodies. Speaking in Kaduna, the state CAN chairman, who also doubles as the Northern Vice Chairman, Reverend Dr. Joseph Ayub, described the Muslim Muslim ticket as an insult to the Christians in that political party. The implication of such a decision is that such a candidate has no respect for the unity, peace and progress of Nigeria. It is also suggested that the candidate is just a candidate that prioritizes selfishness, greed, and personal unhealthy interests above the good of the nation. The federal character principle that a particular group occupy major ministries in the nation. Well, clearly we know many have just cause to argue that leadership in Nigeria in the most recent past is with the high ethnic nepotism. Well, one can rightly say that what we are seeing is another phase of this religious nepotism. If you have a Christian Christian president or a Christian Christian a Muslim Muslim president, the vice president, then we are just changing from a tribal nepotism to a religious nepotism. Arguments have been deduced out there that no, we are not looking we couldn't find a competent Christian. How we ask ourselves, how can someone talk about competence when you talk about Christians? The fact of all is that in the north of Nigeria, if you are looking for the best brain, if you choose ten, eight of them will be Christians. We are just trying to say that what has happened is condemnable, it is not right, it is not proper, but it has given us with a good option that we have a choice. We won't go to people who want to divide us. We will seek for parties and institutions that want to unite us. And Nigerians are not fools. Nigerians are coming out of a divisive system that has eaten the country. Nigerians are struggling to come out of a system that is so skewed one-sided to the extent that sometimes Nigerians will tell you that the security architecture of this country is virtually of one tribe and one religion having the highest percent. That is why decisions are narrow, decisions are not brought, decisions are narrow, decisions are not properly understood. Because when you want to discuss about me and to solve my problem, and there is nobody in that city who understands what I stand for and what I believe, you would take decisions that will not go right. The apex religious body says every political party must be able to educate, sensitize and mobilize their faithful followers to vote against anything that is being considered as a danger to the unity, peace, progress and development of the country. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.